Heads up. And the bakery. Oh, they have good bread in the bakery. The grocery store. This building was moved to Upper Canada Village in 1958 from the Chrysler property about four kilometers west of here. It stood to the rear of the Chrysler Hall and was probably probably built between sometime in the 1840s. Its original purpose is unknown and its restoration included modifications to present as a general store. The front porch was added later to reflect a common architectural feature of the 1860s. Hmm. So we're not sure what this building was. They turned it into a store. Mom really wants a watering can. <laughs> well, yeah, right on. Look at these, aren't they nice? <laughs> Brooms, whisks. What's the name of this? This looks like a bakery. Hmm, I wonder how, you know how I figured that out? Because it's a bakery on the side. The bakery was added to the Upper Canada Village in 1962, a representation of the 19th century commercial bakeries that produced bread in large quantities to sustain railway, canal, and other inerrant in, inter merit workers. I'm inter sorry, I don't know workers? what that is. I don't know how to say who that were one. fed on the job? The design of its large wood-fired bake oven is typical of others in the region. Today, the bakery makes bread daily for Willard Hotel using village programs and the sale. That's Willard's Hotel right the there. That's probably it right there. There's people actually sitting on the porch eating that. The oven holds 100 at a time. 110, 112. Oh, yeah. They go over this morning, so this is 200 volts plus today. The fire burned right inside the oven over the course of the morning to store heat in this massive door. So I went ahead and made my dough. Here's the mixing bowl here. Mix it neat by hand. That's your bowl. Oh, right on. So you roll up your sleeves. Look how clean that is. Literally neat by hand. So while that's rising, it's being prepared and panned, etc., etc., the heat's stored up in the brickwork. The bread's all panned and rising for the last minute. We remove all the tools and ashes from the oven, clear it right out. The bread makes a low fire, just the heat of the brick. And how long does it bake for? This has been about 40 minutes. Wow. So, this, so then when that batch came out, we refired the oven with another fire, and this is a similar situation as this morning, except it's a different batch of bread. But we have no thermometers, no thermostats. Those look okay to me, those fast. Right on. Wow. <laughs>